Hey guys, I want to make a quick video on some of the things that I take with me trail running in the summer. That way, if you're just now getting into trail running, you might get an idea of some things that you might want to consider investing in as you start you know, running these trails in the heat. Some of these are things that I uh, take with me anytime I go running, and some of these are kind of weather dependent. The first thing I wanted to talk about is a hydration vest. So some people use vests, some people use belts. I kind of prefer a vest a lot more than a belt. I don't really like anything on my waist. So these are used for a lot more than just uh, water. I carry my cell phone in here, snacks, car keys, lots of other stuff when I'm running. So there's a big compartment in the back of this one for a camelback type water bladder. You can run the hose up the front. Uh, there's a magnetic clip on one of the straps that you could clip the valve onto so it's not swinging around everywhere. I kind of prefer to use these uh, soft flasks and I'll just stick them in these uh, front pockets. I like these a lot better because I can mix my tailwind directly into them and then when I'm done drinking them, they compress really small and I can just stick them in my pocket. So I like these a lot. But if you're going on a really long run or you're going somewhere that doesn't have anywhere where you can refill your water, then you might want to consider the bladder because it holds significantly more than a soft flask does. If it's really hot and I'm running a lot, a lot of times I'll like to still use these, but I'll run some short loops. That way I can make pit stops at my truck and refill these as I go running. I also like to take headphones. So, uh, you know, obviously those are not a necessity, but they make the time go by a little bit quicker. I like to listen to podcasts, audiobooks, stuff like that. These are just cheap uh, skull candy on the ear headphones. They're Bluetooth. Uh, they've been in the rain, they've been in a lot of sweat, and they're still working. Uh, I like to have a hat when I'm running, keep the sun out of my eyes, you know, keep myself from getting a little bit sunburnt. Uh, sunglasses keep the sun out of my eyes. I like to use one of these buffs. It's kind of like a sleeve for your neck. Keep the sun off your neck, keep you from getting sunburnt. You could also dunk it in some uh, cold water. You know, if you have some at your vehicle, or maybe if you're doing a race, a lot of the times they'll have ice water to dunk stuff like that in there to cool yourself down. Uh, I have some Solomon Speedcross trail running shoes. You definitely don't need trail running shoes to get into trail running. Sometimes I'll even wear road shoes depending on what trail I'm doing. Um, I like to use some type of uh, product to keep myself from chafing. This is pretty uh, popular in the trail running community. A lot of people also use Body Glide. Uh, Especially on the East Coast, I really like having some uh, off, keep the ticks off me. So Lyme disease is pretty big out here. I really don't want to get that. And there's also a lot of mosquitoes depending on the time of day you're going running. Sunscreen is pretty important. If you're pale like me, I get sunburnt really easily. So I like to keep that on. You know, if I get sunburnt, it's going to mess up my training for the entire week. Having some nutrition is good, with, good uh, you know, for your run. I might not carry a banana in my vest, but I would definitely keep it in my truck for, you know, like a mid-run snack if I'm looping back to the truck or maybe eat it afterward. I like to carry just candy in my uh, vest. Sometimes uh, chocolate's not the best if you're going to eat it way into your run because it'll be all melted by then. Uh, I like to carry gummies and stuff like that, but I don't have any with me right now. Tailwind is great. It's got uh, salt. It's got calories. Some of them have uh, caffeine in them also. If you're not gonna eat something or drink something like this during your run, I suggest getting some S caps or other salt tablets, especially during the summer. Uh, you know, as you get dehydrated, your salt kind of depletes out of your body and water alone doesn't replace it. So having a lack of salt can lead to cramps and other things. Um, this is one thing that I didn't realize was gonna be so useful when I bought it, but this is a year parking pass for Virginia State Parks. And I do all of my running almost exclusively at Virginia State Parks, so this is paid for itself tenfold by now. Uh, that's my expired one. I have a current one in the truck right now. But, you know, when the summer comes around and the prices for these parks get a little bit higher, you know, $7 to park at Virginia State Parks during the summer, you can save a lot of money, especially if you're doing a lot of running, by just buying a year pass. And then my family and I use them for, you know, all the parks that we visit, even when we're not running. So... That has been a great asset. Uh, you're also going to need some way to record your run. So any kind of GPS watch will work. I really actually don't recommend using an Apple Watch. I've had a lot of trouble with this, but I just haven't, you know, had the money to invest in a uh, more expensive watch. But the Apple Watch is not great for trail running. So one of the most important things that I always forget is it is great to bring an extra shirt with you whenever you're running. 
as you get sweaty, you get back to your car after the run, it is great to change your shirt so you don't have to sit in a wet shirt in the AC. <laughs> I forget it all the time and I always wish that I had brought an extra shirt. But um, if you guys have any questions or any you know additional things that you guys like to bring, please leave it in the comments. Have a great day.